in, in feminist theory, right, that there is there is a prehistory to patriarchal history, right? So there was another form of human sort of socialization and civilization that was gynocentric. It was based in female power. Uh, a woman was at the center of things largely because women could give birth, right? They could give life, right? So they were sort of, uh, they in matrilineal or matriarchal culture, they're at the center of power. And so feminist theory contends that this, this did exist. We can see it sort of in evidence of literature and mythological tales. And then there was basically a colonization and conquest by men, which uh, rendered women from to from powerful, dynamic, complex figures to simplistic uh, caricatures that were simplified or reduced into the roles of mother, the idea of whore or wife, and the idea of the virgin. Okay, so goes the theory, right? So you can see evidence for this, like in Gilgamesh, for example, right, where you have the goddess uh, Ishtar, right, who comes across in the Gilgamesh text that we read, um, which were, you know, it's from the, you know, the 11th century uh, millennium there, you know, uh, BC. Um, by that time, Ishtar has become a lesser god, and the male gods have been put up on a pedestal. But we have evidence uh, a thousand years before that, is that Ishtar was a, the more, a more central god, or the central god. The same thing with the, the role of uh, Shamhat. Shamhat is a sacred priestess, uh, sacred priestess uh, uh, involved with, you know, the idea of sexuality. And she is rendered in the text, uh, I don't think in the text itself, but definitely by the editors of the text, the modern editor of the, of the text, she is rendered as a whore or a prostitute. Uh, in Monotheism, you can see this in the Bible, Genesis, um, uh, the role of Eve, right? Eve is criminalized for her actions, and then she is penalized with uh, the labor of birth, right? So instead of being this great and wonderful thing, birth becomes this penalty, right? It becomes negativized. Um, and then in Christianity, you have Jesus and the virgin birth, right? So the power of birth is is taken away from women in this sense. And so God is sort of comes comes out in a virgin way, nothing to do with female sexuality. 